And on today's show, we're going to have a look at uh, further down the risk curve, a couple of altcoins where I was asked the question, if I had to 10x my money in 10 days, which coin would I buy? So quite a challenging question to answer, but I'm going to attempt to do it on today's show. If you want those tokens, make sure you smash the like button, hit the bell notification, and definitely be subscribed to the channel because we have called it pretty much spot on. Everything that we looked at yesterday played out pretty much exactly as expected. You'll remember that we looked at the ETF inflows. We said that expect those are going to tick up. We had the stimulus check, which was coming in uh, from the US government in the trillions. And we said if the stock market responds to that, Bitcoin was pricing it in first, then you can expect continuation and then it's going to be a full on risk on scenario coming back onto the table. So in today's show, we're going to look at which are the best tokens to be allocated to should you want to expose yourself to high risk plays, which let's just be honest, is going to be in the meme coin sector. We'll cover Bitcoin as well. For those of you who have no appetite for the meme coins, make sure you vote as well. I want to know your thoughts. Vote in the poll below while you smash that like button. How much of your portfolio currently is allocated towards meme coins? Do you have no exposure? That's 23% of you. For those 23%, please stay on the show because I'm not only covering meme coins. We're going to go through Bitcoin first. We're going to go through Ethereum. We're going to go through what's happening in the overall altcoin market sector. And then then for the ones that are super high risk, you guys stay through till the very end because I do have something which I want to show you on today's show. We have 30% of you have less than 1% allocation. 1% to 10% allocation of your crypto portfolio is 30% of you. And 16% of you are holding more than 10% of your portfolio in meme coins, which is pretty, pretty substantial, pretty unbelievable. You DJs stay till the very, very end. So guys, please do me the massive favor. It helps to get the show content out there. YouTube works on an algorithm smash the like button the quicker we get to 1500 likes the better i get more excited and i give you guys more alpha and those who have been on the show for a while on many of the coins we've given have already done over 100x believe it or not which is absolutely unreal uh, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, Ted Talks Macro says over here, after five consecutive outflow days, Bitcoin spot ETF saw an increase of 15.4 million USD flow in on Monday. Uh, that was due to Fidelity, which brought in 262 million. And the bid is back, right? There it is. We looked at it yesterday. I said over here, watch the histogram. The histogram, the trend is your friend, right? The overall trend has mostly been up. Many more green days than red days, right? But of course, there are going to be red days. Nothing goes up in a straight line. There is uh, charts that go up and then they come down slightly and then they go back up again, right? So the histogram slowly starting to tick towards the upside. So expect continuation from this. Um, and we were looking at a big, big bounce within Bitcoin. We said that we were looking at the bottom at that $66,000 mark. I even made a tweet about it before it happened. If you go through uh, down here, let's go through to the bottom over there. And I made the tweet yesterday, there we go, before the market started to pump, I said very high probability that $60,771 was the high low and up only resumes. And now Bitcoin is over $10,000 above that price point since the tweet. So congratulations if you have been here all along. Now we've got a beautiful move Move towards the upside, the weekly close is going to be very, very, very significant on multiple different levels, right? It's going to be significant because from a TA perspective, technical analysis perspective, you'll be closing above the prior highs at $69,000, a big, big psychological level that the whole market is currently watching. For, that's the first point. The second point is you have a beautiful reversal candle over here showing big bullish demand coming in. And if this candle closes green, it's going to complete this breakout and you'll be looking for continuation higher. Then the next point over here is that it's coming into the monthly and the quarterly close. So this weekly close will close off the monthly and the quarterly charts as well. And if Bitcoin closes this bullish, you would expect continuation into the next quarter, which means much higher prices, which means the possibility of a blow off top, which means that we have the green go ahead signal to play these highly risky meme coins, right? Which is where we're making a lot of money. All of us have been making huge money and we need to milk it for everything that we've got whilst we we still can, right? Because it doesn't last forever. It is a game of musical chairs. As long as you understand that, uh, then you'll be well on your way to making thousands and thousands, maybe even millions of dollars, depending on how much money you're putting into the market. So 
Let's continue on with this journey. Why is this so significant? For multiple reasons, right? If you have a look at this chart over here from the Queen Charters, you can see what happened in 2021. Uh, we've outlined all week the massive amount of similarities between the consolidation that we're having now versus what we saw in 2020. Okay, well, 2021. Look at what happened with the MACD and the MACD moving averages as well. You can see they pushed up, they broke above this level, this level being over here at 0.11. They held above that level and consequently you got a parabolic move which led into an eventual blow off top. So we're seeing something super similar taking place right now. A lot of people might be getting fearful over here that this is about to cross down and momentum is running out of steam and we're going down. But it doesn't look to be the case, right? You also need to pay attention to the market sentiment whilst at these levels. And unbelievably, there's been a full reset in the market sentiment as price came down to these levels. Everybody was back on the El Capo wagon looking for much, much lower prices, even some looking for under $50,000. Many, many prominent influencers were calling for a minimum of $50,000 and some even into the $40,000 category, yet we've now had the perfect back test into support over there. At 60,000, we have the upsloping trend line. We have our EMAs, the nine and the 18 exponential moving average, which kept us into the trade. And consequently, we also set our Monday range, which was yesterday, right? We have the Monday range. So if we can start to break above that Monday range and more notably close above $73,000, you have the presence of a massive short squeeze which will take place as fred kruger says over here when we hit seventy-five thousand dollars, the mother of all short coverings begins for those who are new year what is a short squeeze many market participants bet that the market's going to be going down they take out futures contracts which short the market saying they're betting it's going to go down and consequently when price goes up they have to close that position by closing those positions it's an automatic buyback into the market and that gives extra fuel to send price even higher so he says over here, and the asset allocators who thought they'd had time will realize that they have actually very, very little time left. And thus the up only blow off top commences, right? And that's currently what we're seeing within the market over there. So once you close your candle above $73,000, that will confirm the short squeeze. He says over here, 75, I say 73 already will be an early warning sign that you're getting that short squeeze. So Bitcoin price is above the pivot levels over here. Uh, I know there is a possibility of a pullback, right? There's always a possibility, but I think the probability right now, because that's what we always play, right? The game of probabilities, the probability is higher that you see straight continuation up on this candle. You close the daily candle above that 73K level, and consequently, you have straight continuation towards new highs. Now, that's where you're gonna make real bank on these meme coin trades, right? Once Bitcoin and Ethereum start to break into those new highs, of which Ethereum, is still not even at those zones, that's where you're really gonna make real, real money on the market. Understand your pivot levels, understand where the ideas start to fail. For now, price is above the pivot level, price is above the 200 EMA on the one hour time frame, which also so happens to line up with those two moving averages or exponential moving averages, the nine and the 18, which I just showed you on this chart over here. That's kept us safe. And we also have the four hour 200 exponential moving average. So price is above everything that matters and it's really a bull market. It's a bullish market, bulls are in control. Let's leave them to run the show. And ultimately when those key levels break down, then we can start to flip bearish. But for now, the trend is your friend until the end of that trend. Stick with it, right? Stick with it. Okay, let's look over here at the funding heat map. Now, the significance of the funding heat map is that we want to be more cautious when it gets very, very frothy, when the funding is super, super high and you see everything printing yellow, which if I toggle it like that now, you can see there's not much right? A couple of the coins, you had uh, real world assets a couple of days ago on Ondo. That's Ondo. That went up pretty significantly. You have Pepe over here also up trying to long Pepe again over here, but is it overheated? Not by any means. If you look on the daily, it's not heated by any means. And I'll show you uh, in a moment, we'll look at high block capitals, cumulative liquidation deltas. We'll see how skewed it is on some of these meme coins. Now that's the reason that I'm looking at this chart. I know that the meme coin sector is still there. The meme coin rallies continue and that's where you're making life-changing gains in a very short amount of time. So I'm gonna give you some of those coins on today's show, some of the ones that I'm looking at. A lot of you are already in those coins, but I don't believe that it's by any means too late. I think you could quite easily see another 10X from current levels. So we'll bring that up today, but we need to look under the hood and we need to see, is it too frothy? And the answer is no. 
The rest of the market over here is green on the funding rates, which is a good thing, right? When it all starts to get very orange, red, yellow, that's usually where it gets bad. Let's look on the 30 day time frame to give you an example. There you go. When we start to see this, we know that, okay, now we need to be careful. It's time to slow down on the longs, take some profits off the table and reduce our leverage. That's not the case. Right now, it's showing that most people are too scared to take longs and the longs have yet to open up, especially on the meme coins, right? Pepe has only just started to turn a little bit green uh, or a little bit early, a little bit yellow over there. Woof is not even uh, yellow yet, right? Look at these, look at these over here. So it's telling you a very, very important story and I'll show you individually on each of those coins, what they look like on a more granular level when we look at this chart for the meme coins towards the end. Bitcoin over here, you can also see there's currently 141 longs versus 16 shorts to be liquidated. Uh, that's the level. It's not completely skewed yet. Yes, it is positive. Most people are longing Bitcoin at these levels, but there is still some shorts which could be squeezed. If we look over here at the order book, Let's just see if any massive orders have come onto the table. Uh, we're looking for 500 plus Bitcoin size sell orders and currently there's nothing, right? Pretty empty. So continuation is the name of the game. If we look over here at the uh, different open interest charts, you can see open interest recently picked up ever so slightly over there. You have the white line, which is the leverage traders also increasing ever so slightly in line with the overall spot traders at the orange line over there and there's price. But you can see this can still get a whole lot higher. Higher. This has been much, much higher before, as has the open interest. Follow the open interest over here and mark out those extreme levels, right? You can see we're nowhere near extreme. This is again in agreement with what we're seeing on the funding rates, which is all healthy. It's all good. It suggests that you're okay to go long. You're okay to go long at these levels. It's not dangerous. That's what it's telling you. Looking at Bitcoin on the low time frames, like the four hour chart, you can see we had a beautiful reclaim of this level over here. That was a significant zone that we wanted to see hold. Now, I'm expecting straight continuation from this region over here. Uh, many people might be waiting for a pullback into the zone. And although possible, it's no guarantee, right? The probability seems higher that people are going to be forced to chase price action after bailing out of their positions down here. And consequently, they're looking to get in. So, Come with a plan. If you are out the market, you could look to scale in within these regions, meaning that you at least want to have some exposure even at that zone. If price does end up coming back down into the support zone, you can stagger your orders into that level like that. You don't need to buy everything in one absolute uh, massive market buy order, right? You can scale in bit by bit. So that's the expectation. Expectation would be continuation up. Maybe, maybe, maybe you get a little bit of a pullback around those new highs and you come back to set in a high low and then you have continuation, right? So you'll have the lows, high low, high low over there, maybe one more higher low somewhere in this region and then continuation to new highs. That's your low time frames. All moving averages are looking good and it's onwards and upwards. We had the stock market pushing towards the upside. It is getting quite high, right? It's getting pretty high with no pullbacks. Another 5% or so before it hits our 1.618 FIB extension target. Pay attention as the stock market comes into that zone. If there is a lot of profit taking and selling from that region, we'll watch to buy the next high low. It could affect crypto. So that's the only thing that um, I'm a little bit nervous of, but it'll probably take a couple of weeks for that to play out. Now, there's a lot of coins over here, guys. Remember, I drop the trades in Whale Room and I also drop occasionally things over here on Twitter, but you always get it first in Whale Room. If you look on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. There you go. At Kyle Dupes, make sure you follow the one with the blue tick. Otherwise, they're going to message you and you're going to get scammed. HBAR breakout above resistance, retesting the breakout as support. There it is. We've been long on this trade for quite some time, right? So you've had a long-term reaccumulation on HBAR, support is holding, and it could lead to an uptrend. So if we go through to HBAR, you can see we're already up 1,186%. We went long on this all the way down at 0 0.08249, 0 0.08249 ages ago. So make sure you're in whale room, right? Make sure that you're in whale room if you want these trades early. Here's all of our positions. Currently, we only have two positions down. Movers down 22%. We have Zeta, which is pretty much flat at 0.22%. And then the rest of the trades are absolutely printing. We're still holding the Pepe long, and we're also still holding the Wiff long, which is up almost 30,000%. 
But these are not the gains, right? These are not the gains that, uh, or the life-changing gains. This is not where you're going to find it. We did this for fun. We did this on the show so we can trade leverage on Bybit and we can just have a good time, right? The real money is being made in the lower cap coins. A lot of you are already in those positions. I can see in the comment section over here, you, you, you're bringing up the, uh, the coin. Uh, often a lot of you are celebrating your wins, but what if I told you that, it's not even nearly over, right? We'll get into those in a moment. It's not even nearly over. Now the aim is to take those profits eventually when we surpass certain market caps. I'll give you the levels in a bit. And then we want to rotate those into very, very strong protocols, right? As Run says, protocols that will change the world. You want to invest in protocols that will change the world and then you want to give them enough time to do so. That's one of his mottos. Okay, okay. As long as the market is risk on, that's what I would say. He should have added that part in there. As long as the market remains risk on, because if the market goes risk off, everything is going to go down. So near, we still up almost 4,000%, which is a massive $23,500 profit on this trade and still running, right? It's clearing some significant levels over there. We will scale more of those profits into these types of positions, right? The nears, the caspers, the injectives, we also long on injective, right? I gave you guys live on the show the injective trade. There we go, up 30% on this trade, which is already a $11,000 position over there, $11,000 in profit. So if you want these trades, guys, smash the like button, hit the bell notification, and subscribe to the channel. And more importantly, if you want to trade alongside me and open up new trades with me, make sure you're following the show every single day and take advantage of it because there's competitions which run, right? If you go into the description below over here, yeah, it is. If you go into the description below, you'll see there's the Series 3 Trade Masters competition, which you can win $2 million, right? So I'm entered into these competitions as well. All you have to do is sign up using the Bybit link below and then go through to the Series 3 competition. If you already have a Bybit link, you can just go through and join. Join, take the trades with me. If you go up thousands and thousands of percent, the chances are high that you'll win, right? You can see that price pulls up to $2 million, which is absolutely massive. And the registration will end on the 9th of April for this trading competition. So you'll wanna get registered now while you can. Simultaneously, whilst you do that, that will give you access to win a Bitcoin, right? All you have to do is go through onto the banter bubbles. Once you've signed up using the Bybit link below, you can also sign up using BitGet. You can sign up using Avo over there, as you can see, CoinW, BingX, all of the links are in the description. And then you can come through over here, you guess what will Bitcoin's price be on the 15th of May? Now, obviously we're getting closer and closer to the 15th of May, which makes it easier to guess. And whoever comes closest is gonna win one full Bitcoin. So a lot of free things for you guys there. Next, let's look at total three. Total three tells us what we should expect from the altcoin market. Now we can see we've had a big bullish move over here and at the pace that we're moving now, there is a real possibility that you could see price reclaim above $825 billion market cap within the next week or two. Now, if we do see that, there might be one bit of profit taking where you come down under again, set in a high low, and then the next move will be the real move. So you probably want to have some sort of exposure into the altcoin market sector already if you haven't, right? You want to start looking for opportunities. Now, the way that I use this is I'm trading the meme coin market, that's the majority of the gains that I'm making at the moment. I'm looking at total three. If total three tells me it's risk on, if Bitcoin tells me it's risk on, if ETH tells me it's risk on, and all these things are going up, and we've recently had a dip in the funding rates have been flushed, and the rest of the market is going short on meme coins, I'll show you in a bit, then that gives me even more confidence that it's time to size up on those positions. So all in all, that is what we're seeing. It's looking good. Bitcoin dominance, we're still waiting for a decision on that. So let's just move on. Now ETH is looking good, right? ETH has officially reclaimed the level that we outlined yesterday. We said we want to see ETH above $3,500 and closing there. And if we do, that should lead to either a little bit of a consolidation like the white lines I've drawn over here and then straight up, or it could literally just lead to straight up and people will start jumping into ETH very quickly within this region. And then you're gonna break those highs and sooner or later, you should see Ethereum 
taking out the all-time highs. Now, this is the full risk on signal, right? Which is why I'm already playing a lot of these meme coins and I wanna be in beforehand. Once you see Ethereum, which is gonna be crossing this region over here at 33% more upside, once you see it cross that $4,872 level, that is when the market is gonna go absolutely ballistic and explode. Everything is gonna go up. Altcoins are gonna go crazy. People are gonna take that as the signal that it's a full on alt season once again, right? And then we expect as well ETH BTC to continue towards the upside. So Ethereum outperforming Bitcoin. So now that I've got all those signals, right? I'm looking at the funding rates, which have been flushed and reset. We're looking at Bitcoin, which is risk on and clearing that 69K level. We're looking at Ethereum, which has also reclaimed a very significant level. And the probability is high that it's gonna move another 12, 13%, take out these highs and then continue on 34% to break the all time highs for the very first time. Plus in combination, charting a lot of these different meme coins and seeing well, where are the levels? What are we looking at? This is Pepe, one of the biggest meme coins out there. Now you can see the liquidation levels of longs to shorts is not uh, that skewed to the long side, right? 195 versus 91. Now meme coins go absolutely ballistic. You expect it to be a much higher beta play than the rest of the market. Higher beta play meaning that if Bitcoin and ETH goes up, you expect these meme coins to go up significantly more. If BTC and ETH goes down, you expect these to go down significantly more. So if you look at the Bitcoin or the ETH holdings, this is Ethereum. If we look at Ethereum over here and we have 140 to 16 longs to shorts, you would expect this to be way, way, way higher. You would expect something like 800 to about 10 on this, about a one to 10 ratio, right? At the moment, you have 195 to 91. It's about a one to two, one to three ratio that you're currently seeing over there on Pepe. Now, if you go into the next one over here, which is Shiba Inu, you can see the market's mostly been short on Shiba Inu. They recently only just flipped long and all these negative fundings over here mark the major bottoms on these meme coins, right? And it's only just flip positive. If you look over here, 113 to 74. So about a one to 1.5 ratio of longs to shorts. So additional fuel to suggest that you wanna find the right narratives, you wanna buy and you wanna hold and you wanna sit back. And as Elon Musk said over here, take a vac vacation and you'll have unexpected gains. He said he found this in his fortune cookie tonight. Interesting. Is Elon Musk about to pull a meme coin tweet again? Is he about to? Is he referring to meme coins? I don't know, it's possible, right? Let's see over here uh, if there's any comments over here around meme coins that you replied to. Okay, I don't see anything yet. I don't see anything yet, but we got to watch this guy. We got to watch this guy. When you see ETH break out to new highs, again, you want to focus on those meme coins. So where are meme coins over here? Let's have a look at some of the larger cap meme coins, and then I'll give you the coin that if I had to put my money into to look for a 10x return, in the next 10 days, which is a very bold ask, right? Probably gonna have to find something that's lower market cap, something that can go from $1 million to $10 million, or something that can go from $5 million to $50 million, or from $10 million to $100 million. Uh, these coins need what's called escape velocity. Escape velocity is ultimately where you start to break those key psychological barriers, and price just goes vertical towards the upside. So we'll look at some of those. Here is Dogecoin, Elon Musk's coin, right? He's literally, obviously, he started to work with the devs and everything. We know that Twitter have the payment systems uh, licensed in over 100 different states, or 100, excuse me, 100 different countries around the world. So it's something to pay attention to. If you start to see uh, Dogecoin breaking above here at 19.4, so 0 0.194, that's gonna signify the start of a bigger breakout, and then you can target 25 cents on Dogecoin. So it's not looking too bad, right? If this does start to happen, this is the granddad of meme coins and it's showing you that, well, you're looking at higher prices. So some of the large cap meme coins that I'm interested in, and yes, you can get a 10X on these, so 10X return, but will you get it in 10 days? Probably not. Maybe in about the larger capped ones, maybe in about uh, 10 weeks, maybe 10 weeks, so about three months or so, 
that's a possibility for a 12 year, about 10, two and a half months, I think you can get it. I'm gonna give you the ones that could go much, much quicker in a moment. So smash the like button guys, if you want those, but let's look at MAGA, MAGA Trump. This is an election coin. We're looking at Trump making a big noise coming into the elections. I think it is worthwhile to dollar cost average into this. You can get on Mexi, low fees. That's probably the best place to get it. How's Grok doing? Looking strong, right? Bouncing off of the range low over there at 0.012883. Looking at a big move up here to 0.025448. But this is not the coin. This is not the one, right? Miro, how's Miro looking? For a large cap coin, if you want to trade on leverage, well, this one's not too bad. It's reclaimed the level. Your invalidation is going to be below that candle close. Uh, the wick that's at the bottom over here, as long as it holds above the yellow line, expect continuation onwards and upwards. How's Pepe doing? Also one of the bigger coins. Reaccumulating over here. It's going through a reaccumulation phase. All you need to do is be careful that there's not a lower high. That's all you need to do. Watch for any sort of a complacency bounce. If it were to take place, it's probably going to be somewhere within this zone. That's where you want to be careful. If it breaks above that, you're going to have continuation onwards and upwards. Now, the positive thing that you have over here is the market tends to move in phases, right? A lot of people call these uh, Elliott waves, right? So if you look at the Elliott waves, usually you get three up moves and two down moves. So one down, this could be going into the second leg. The second leg is often the longest and biggest of those legs. And then you obviously pull back and then you go for the final leg, which is the blow off top. Now, that's what also gives me additional confidence that it's worthwhile holding these meme coins. The, white, the low caps that I have, which are starting to grow ever so slowly and whale room members are up over 100X. We've done this multiple times. I think this is the third one that whale room have got up over 100X. So if... Pepe is about to enter into wave two of an Elliott wave and continue towards the upside. The other coins that we're looking at, which are much higher beta plays to these, should go up even more significantly. Here you have Shiba Inu as well, wave one, wave two, correction, going into possibly wave three, and then you look for wave four, correction, and then wave five into the blow off top. So all in all looking good. Walsh, Walsh Corgi over here, same thing, right? Big wave up, one, two down, is this possibly the start of the third wave? It could be. What about Bonk? Bonk has led the market. It's done a little bit more, right? It's already over here had one, two, three, four, and I mean, that's not really a great Elliott wave, but you guys get the point, right? You get the, the flow of how you get these big peaks, right? So on something like Bonk, I would expect probably one more peak and I would be willing to get out of that position if I were holding. Let's look at when. When is a cat on Solana? Also not too bad, right? We went long on when down here, all the way down here. So had you taken that position with us, and I think this one was given on the show, not even on Whale Room, bottom to top, you would have got a 471% move. Bottom to current levels is still 388%. So you're looking at a three to four X return. This is what I'm talking about when I say that, you know, you can still get a 10 X return on these, uh, 10 X your money, but you're gonna be taking on a lot more risk and it's gonna take time, right? So if you look at WIF, one, entering into wave two, which is why I do continue to hold this position over here uh, on WIF if we go down to the bottom. There it is, WIF up, there we have it, 29,844%. Never thought I'd see that in my life, but there it is. So which are the coins that I'm looking at? I gave these coins to you guys yesterday, yesterday live on the show. The one coin that I gave you was, of course, BlackRock. Here it is, BlackRock, Larry Pink, right? Larry Fink of BlackRock, but we made him pink and we called him Larry and not Larry. This is 6 x since yesterday, 6 x right? We had $6 million market cap. I gave it to you yesterday at $1 million market cap. This is where you find these substantial gains. A big, big congratulations to every single one of you that did manage to hold onto your coins because I know a lot of people sold out and they're gonna be forced to buy back higher. The probability is significant that this is starting to reach escape velocity right now and we'll probably see $10 million as soon as today. Once it breaks above $10 million and holds that level, well, that's where you can start to expect the next big move up, which will take it to 25 to $30 million is the next big psychological level. And then it takes time, right? We can look over here at Lemiao, one of the earlier coins that we gave to you guys as well, all the way down here on the break of this line. There's Lemiao, how much did it move since there? Okay, let's quickly grab this. 
So this is how these meme coins play out. You just need to be strong enough to hold it long enough. That is 640% up since we brought it up on the show. You had the breakout move, you consolidated in this range. As per market cap, this is what it looked like, right? So down here is ultimately where it was around that $1 million mark, like I gave you BlackRock. Then it expanded, right? Straight to 10 million. Hold that 10 million temporarily on a low time frame. shot straight up to $25 million market cap, which was in this region. And then it oscillated between 25 and $10 million for a while. Everyone thought it was dead, breaks back up, holds above the $25 million market cap and expansion towards the upside. You're now at $40 million. This is, this is the way these things work, right? So although when you look at BlackRock over here and you see, well, it's up 800%, understand that this is only just reaching escape velocity. When you look at the timeline of how long this has been around for, it's not that long, right? Which is why you see these substantial gains and you'll probably continue to see this run higher and higher until it breaks above that 10 to $20 million mark and finds a consolidation zone. That's the expectation, that's one. The other one that we looked at is Fink, right? Fink is like Larry, Larry, Larry Pink, but this one's just Fink, which is Larry Fink, right? So, I mean, they, they took a more serious approach. I think their logo is a literal picture of him. So this one also trading up towards new all-time highs. I also brought that up yesterday. Then we have another one that rhymes with these, which is Bink. Now that's Bonk's sister, right? <laughs> so Bonk's sister is currently creating that trading range between 1 million and this taking it up to the top side over here will probably be the $10 million zone. So let's see if that one can break above those levels. Amogus is the other one that's still at 3 million. We're waiting for it to get to that $10 million mark. So you got to look for these, right? It's I know it's daunting, which is why you only want to put in money that you can afford to lose. But if you have enough patience and you're willing to hold through this and not sell then this is the expectation, right? This is Hemuel, which is Vitalik's cat. What do you think is going to happen to Vitalik's cat when ETH breaks all-time highs and the memes of Vitalik start to go around? He's always wearing a t-shirt with a UFO, an alien, and a cat. I mean, it's Hemuel. Hemuel is his friend, and Hemuel is coming for the range highs next. And when it breaks above those range highs, it's going to pull a Le Miao move where it will go into price discovery, breaking into a new range where you can set new levels. And ultimately, that's what you're looking at. So I see Scott says, what DEX exchange for BlackRock? Guys, the way that you have to purchase these tokens, you would need a phantom wallet. That's a phantom wallet on the top over there, that little purple thing that's next to the logo. So you have to download a phantom wallet. You can do it on your mobile device or you can do it on your laptop. If you do it on your laptop, you have to add the extension. Then you have to fund it with Solana, the account with Solana. Once you've done that, you'll need to go through on your phone. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you my mobile device because I don't wanna dox all my accounts, but I'll read it to you. Just play this video back. So once you have your Solana app downloaded, on the Solana or the Phantom, the Phantom wallet, P-H-A-N-T-O-M, Phantom wallet, which is the Solana wallet, you'll fund it with Solana, right? Just put Solana straight onto the wallet. It uses Solana as gas. Then on the bottom right, you'll see a little world sign. You'll go through to that world sign and it will show you a bunch of tokens. It will show you a bunch of different DEXs. I don't know if you can see that over there. You, what you'll do is you'll go to BirdEye. Once you're on BirdEye, you'll copy and paste the token address in. There's the token address for BlackRock as an example. There it is. There's the token address. So it is BF... Six is the first three digits and the last three YBY, YBY. Those are the last digits, right? You copy and paste that in there. And then once you've done that, you can go through to the little arrows that are the swap function in the middle. There you go, in the middle. And you click on that and that's how you make the purchase. A lot of people try use Radium. It's a disaster, I don't recommend it. Radium is super slow. Do not use Radium, just do everything through BirdEye. Phantom Wallet, BirdEye, connect it, put the contract address in, that's the place to do it. Okay, let's see in the comment section a couple of your questions. By the way, before we go into your chart requests and your questions, I'm gonna read those in a moment. Let's first, I have two things. First, let's review the final results over here. How much of your portfolio is allocated towards meme coins? I just broke this, didn't I? How do I get it out? There we go, okay. No exposure, 25% of you have no exposure. 
I mean, you probably have your reasons. Uh, it's all understandable. You just need to get into coins at the right time. Uh, depends on whether it's on Solano or ETH in terms of market caps. The ones that are under $10 million can still move, right? A lot of the coins I've given you, the teams have plans on getting this and the the uh, people who created it, they want to get these to 100 million. So 100 million is not out of the question as a market cap. 5 million to 50 million already gives you the 10x to 100 million gives you the 20x. Okay, under 1% is 29% of you. Now, this is probably where you want to be playing, to be honest with you. Maximum 2%, right? 1% to 10% of the people or 1% or to 10% of your account size is 31% of you out there have that much in and 16% of you are putting more than 10% of your capital into meme coins. So it depends on many factors. How big is your account size? How much risk do you want to take on? How old are you? Can you afford to lose the money, et cetera, et cetera. You choose what's right for you, but you should be able to laugh about the loss. Let's just put it that way. If you're going to cry about the loss, you're risking too much money on the meme coins. Okay, next. The other thing that I wanted to bring up is when you're playing around with these phantom wallets, be careful, protect your keys, right? Uh, because if you build this account to hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars, and you end up losing that capital, then it's gone, right? It's gone forever. It's going to be completely gone forever. So be very, very careful. Okay, I see some of you are getting clever here and degening. It's now up to 8 million. Um, protect your capital. Secondly, if you want to learn how to trade leverage, so perpetuals on a DEX because you don't want a KYC or whatever the reason may be, there is a link in the description below for Evo. Check out Evo. You can win an Apple Vision Pro if you use that link below. So sign up to the link below. They'll be doing a giveaway. They'll see the user, the user IDs of whoever used that link. Sign up. They'll do a Apple Vision Pro giveaway. And you can practice there with small amounts. Eventually, things are probably going to move this way towards the DEXs. It's worth getting used to. Um, play around over there. Practice over there. And... That's it. I don't know. I don't. Is there anything else? Okay, I said I'll look at some of your questions. Okay, what else? What else do you guys want before we go off? IRS. Yes, I see you guys are there. It says IRS stands for I retarded. Sorry, I still hold that one. Anything that I have uh, that I gave you guys, I'm holding. I'm looking to play it in line. This is our play, right? Just to give you an idea, this is our play. I'm looking in line with these moves, right? So if we look at something like Woof and we say, let's just pretend that Woof is in fact in an Elliott wave and you're looking at huge moves like this. Uh, let's grab this one over here. I'm looking at one, phase one. Buy more on the dip, phase two. Phase three, I'll take profit as this expands bigger than what phase one is, I'll take some profit. Phase four, I'll just continue to hold, not adding any more. And then finally in phase five over there, oh, let's just quickly end it like that. Finally in phase five like that, I'll probably take my last bit of profits, right? That's kind of the way that I'm playing it. So it's phase five, you expect to probably be a little bit shorter, uh, something like that. I know it's, it's obviously a bit messy. I clicked multiple times, but I'm looking for this next one to be the big move. So I'm trading and charting the larger meme coins like Woof, or I'm using the, the chart to guide me. Woof, Bonk, Pepe, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin. Once those start to reach the, the, the final peak of phase two expanding, and at the same time, I can monitor the funding rates and see what's going on over here. Are things completely overheated or not? When they start to get overheated on the likes of the Pepe, the Bonk, um, the Whiffs, et cetera, that's when I'll start to scale some of these profits out of things like, like BlackRock. Okay, guys, that's it from me. Let's leave it at that. Uh, tomorrow, we'll see you again. And let's see. Hopefully, we are at 20 million on BlackRock. See you then. Cheers.